Hello friends, this is Odds from Outer Space and today we're going to talk about the Dredge's secondary ability, Nightfall. Nightfall is what makes the Dredge actually really scary and potentially very strong if used correctly. It is a time of the game where he becomes undetectable, no terror radius and you can't be seen by others. The map itself becomes foggy and dark, survivors can't see very well ahead of them, which is really cruel for new players. Your travel speed while you teleport more than triples, your recovery to use your power repeatedly triples as well, which is awesome. And and anytime you teleport to your remnant or to a locker, even if you don't come out, you detect people with killer instinct around you, which is huge. You can go around the map really, really, really fast and pick up and find anyone that could be vulnerable. Nightfall is incredible, but in order to get it, you need to build up charges. Yeah, unless you have a certain purple add-on, you have to do this. And it takes a little while to get there. Uh, let's see what the, what are the things that give you charges. Uh, number one, if you teleport to your remnant, which you should be doing as often as you can, uh, you get plus 10. Not bad. Every time you hook a survivor, you get plus 20. Not too bad. Every time you injure, not down, but injure a survivor from healthy to injured, you get plus 20 as well. And critically, every time you're teleporting, during your teleports and while you're still in the locker, you get six charges per second. That's pretty good. Sometimes you can stay in a locker for a little bit longer just to get your power quicker, which is really, really, really useful to know. And then also you have a passively built charges depending on the amount of survivors that are injured. If there's no injured survivors, your power comes very, very slow. 0.25 charges per second. This is awful. It would take you like 20 minutes to get your power. If you get one person injured, now it's one charge per second, it's, it would still take you five minutes to get your power. But now if you get two people injured, oh, it's two charges per second, it gets faster and faster. So having multiple people injured is ideal. If they are hooked, they don't count as injured. So if you have a person injured and you hook them, now you have zero injured. It's almost better to always have two people injured so that when you hook someone, you still have those charges going. But uh, apart from this, let's focus on the add-ons that change this. We have the plank board, the burn letters, the fallen shingle, and the mall thinker skull. Um, the first two, as you can see, affect the hooking and injuring. The other ones, uh, the other one affect the charges per second bonuses that you get while teleporting or while keeping people injured. Let's have a look at what they look like in the game when 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 we actually use them. As you can see, the plank board is pretty insignificant. When you hook a survivor, you get 20 points, and this brown add-on adds that little bit of green extra. You're not like you're not gonna get like 20 hooks per game to get value out of this overall pretty bad for a brown I guess is acceptable uh, The burn letters are a little bit better. They have the exact same effect But they happen every time you injure a survivor Obviously, it's a lot easier to injure three survivors than it is to hook three survivors, right? So you get a lot more value from this one It's a little bit better while still not being incredible that little green is not that big the Fallen Jingle is really interesting because you can actually choose to stay in a locker and teleport more often to get value out of this. Every time you're in that locker, coming out of the locker, just teleporting around, you get your power very fast. And with this add-on, that fast becomes even faster. But as you can see, it's not that insane. Like, there's not that big discrepancy. The, the add-on doesn't add that much. It's only 15%. The, the thing is already pretty strong, even without this add-on. So this is not that necessary. But where things get really crazy is when we go for the Mall Thinker Skull. The Mall Thinker Skull multiplies the bonus that you get for every person that is injured. If you have no one injured, it does nothing. But the moment you injure one person, Aha, uh -huh. now that's a lot. That's a lot faster. Woo, now we're seeing some numbers here. That power is happening a lot quicker thanks to that one injured person. And when you get two, it speeds up. And when you get three, it starts going really, really, really fast. And when you get four, then it's like the fastest thing ever. And here's the thing. This is a lot more abusable. You know, you cannot somehow engineer a situation where you get six hooks, but you definitely can engineer a situation where you get two or three people injured and keep them injured. And when the nightfall is over, you can sometimes uh, end up in situations where two or three people are injured, and this add-on is gonna make that happen again even faster. Let's see an example of an actual game, just to see how this add-on can really help. So, at the very beginning, I teleport, I get a hit and injure someone. A uh, little later, I use my remnant, okay. That's good, I get some points. Then I hook that person, I teleport for a little while, and this builds up my power, and then I end up injuring another person, and then end up injuring another person. And now, thanks to the Mouth Thinker Skull, I already have my power. Depending on what happens in the next few seconds, we can estimate how long it would have taken me without the Mouth, mouth Thinker Skull. If I didn't have any add-ons, it would have probably taken me around 30 seconds to get my power. So this one yellow add-on gave me my power 30 seconds earlier. That is huge, super, super huge. Because sometimes getting the power earlier can really mean that you get to stop a gen or even get some help in chase.
If I had had uh, the other add-ons, any of them, I would have saved more like 10 seconds approximately with each of them. So that wouldn't be as nice as saving 30 seconds. And remember, this is a pretty bad case scenario where I only had one or two people injured. You can totally make a build where you keep people injured for a long time and then this add-on will become better and better. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna play a off-stream match where I have an anti-healing build and you'll see just how quickly Nightfall happens. Let's get to it. All right, so the build that we use is pretty simple. It's the Mouthfinger Skull, like we explained. Uh, along with the Sacrificial Knife, it's an eerie add-on that nobody uses. And when you teleport during Nightfall, it blocks bolts around you. I never used it myself, but if we're gonna be in Nightfall often, why not, right? Uh, the perks all make sense. Say the best for last, we're gonna be hitting multiple people. Discord wants to find people grouped up and find non-obsessions to make say the best for last better. Jolt to just keep harassing gens without having to worry too much about kicking them. And I also brought nurses just in case anyone tries to heal. It's gonna be my anti-healing perk here. Uh, let me show you how this went. Ooh. Hey, chance to injure someone early, that's nice. I, I think they're in a bit of trouble. I don't think they make it back here quick enough, do they? Mm, that's the score though. Maybe injure and leave? I think they were smart. Yeah, they were smart. Well done. We gotta go. They can both take the window. Okay. We're starting. Um, let's see if we can get someone else. Um, yeah, this kind of goes against our strategy a little bit. Wait a second. It doesn't actually go against our strategy if I have this, though. Alright. We give up on the save the best for last stacks for a little bit. But guess what I'm gonna do? Oh. <laughs> Alright, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that exactly, but... I have a feeling I can do this. Hold up. Ooh, that was close by me. No. Get her, get her, get her. Get this pilot out of the way then. They've already picked one of them up, surprisingly. That's better. That's gonna be two to three people injured, no matter what. What? Four people injured? All right, let's see that nightfall happen fast. Oh, that was kind of smart, I think. Oh, that jolt has been brutal. We're out of the nightfall. All right, let's see if we can actually make the... That's good. Let's see if we can actually make the those vaults get blocked. Okay. Did the window block itself? It did, nice. These guys are clueless. What are you doing? Hold up. That one. That one. Hello. We can leave the unhooking for when after Nightfall is done, I suppose. To get the points when we need them. All right, this could be uh, that hard, but. Two stacks, not bad. We're gonna get another hook. Only one person left to go for that unhook. Ooh, this looks tricky for them. Uh, let's go to an easier one. They just uncooked here. They might have no idea where I'm coming from. Not enough lockers here, unfortunately, to cut that off. But certainly enough lockers to cut this off. Mm. This person on the ground is where? Hello. Oh, right here. More jolts. Let's go. Alright, uh, time to hook her now. Uh, we, we are in recovery mode. We want to get Nightfall back. So, it's it's best to get get injured, which we can't because they're all injured. Um, guess that. Oh, uh, other, other, other locker. I came out the wrong one, did I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, get injured if they're healthy. And unhook them. This is great, dude. Look at Nightfall. It's coming back soon. Oh, even sooner now. Mm. You're not the obsession. So I can hit you, get another stag, make that injured stick for even longer. Um, mm. You're the obsession. Can I get you? Absolutely. There's nothing you can do here. I can cancel. Ooh, 
Ooh, you think she beats me to that? She does, actually. Very surprising. Nice, nice done. I think I could have... Maybe I could have waited it out a little bit better, huh? Yeah, that's good. That's really good. I guess in the spirit of getting our... Yeah, in the spirit of getting our... Say those last tags, I'm just gonna teleport around, use my detection. Hold up. Use my detection to just go for another... Easier target, I suppose. Mm, I see them. Oh, well, you're in a bit of trouble, lady. I see that other... Wait, you went past me? Oh my god, I'm so blind. Uh, that's okay, though. That's gonna be another jolt, maybe? Jolt over there. You guys healing over here. Oh, that's gonna be nasty. Alright. We could have waited a little bit to get that during daytime. Because it would have been 20 seconds, but... Sure thing. Doesn't seem like we're doing that much, but there's still a 5 gens. Oof. Uh, four, four hooks in. Yeah, that's tough. Alright. Uh, look at my, my, uh, my, uh, my knife hole. You're gonna see it. You're gonna see it do a little jump. That's the ten, the 10 charges for using the remnant. That's the 20 for injuring. And... You're dead. You're dead. Your best chance. This is injured person. Oh, that was really nice. And I think they do have Iron Will. Yeah, very nice, very nice. You maybe should have gone elsewhere. You're kind of in trouble now. Use my remnant, plus 10. Injure someone, plus zero. It doesn't give you anything, but hooking, that does give me points, so let's hook and be ready to teleport. Actually, we get it passively. Never mind then. Let's look for someone. That's disgusting. That's so- I'm- we blocked that window too! Oh my god! I was like, oh, she's gonna try to go for the window. I forgot. It blocks it. This little eerie dagger. It's a cute add-on. I've never used it before, actually. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize how mean that actually is. Um... Hello, fellas. Imagine if we had better lockers on the back of this map. It's only five seconds, though. It's nothing that insane. But it's, it's enough to actually bully them. As soon as you take that window, I'm gonna teleport. Wait, wait, did that get blocked? Oh my god, it did not get blocked. Imagine if the range was a little bit bigger. She would have been completely blocked in there. Oh, hi! I'll take one. Uh, let's go there. <laughs> this is so evil! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> three people injured. <laughs> we don't even have sloppy or anything, mind you. <laughs> oh no! What are you gonna do? You're so dead. Like you can't. You just need to hold forward. Uh, she did have Derha, maybe. Oh. Off the record. That could be. She was touching. Oh, okay. Well, uh, four people injured for a little bit longer then. Okay, sure then. Um, I can't even tell you if that was like a super mega perfectly timed that hard or if it was an object. Uh, sorry, uh, an off the record. Very strange. Um, let's check on this one. Eight stacks of say this last, by the way. Man, I guess I they must be so hurt about this one gen. <laughs> they can't finish it. No matter what they do. Um, I generally cannot find that person though. And this is, this is a pretty subpar map, like, surely, there must be maps... I mean, it's a good map for his remnant, I'll say that much, though. But surely there must be maps that are even better for... for overall locker placements that don't have a super empty middle. Dude, that jolt is brutal, they're trying so hard. She's gonna run in the open? Yeah, she kinda has to. Uh, plus 10 from using remnant. Another minus... 10 uh, minus what is it? 8 percent? Oh, nice one, dude. Actually, yeah, minus 8 on that gen from the jolt. And power's here. And I'm pretty sure one of these guys is dead, maybe. If not, well. They're gonna be very soon. Yo, they did a gen, though! Wait, I teleported too fast for that. Yeah. Wait, maybe this. Um. Oh, they're going up! Oh my god, I think they're locked! Only five seconds, though. Hello, where you at? Okay, I found them. 
You can't take that with the Wait! Did he just unblock? Okay, 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 okay. Cheaters. <laughs> this is so evil. Oh, I love it. Uh, you're staying here. I get my power back so quickly. Yeah, what can you do? Nothing. Maybe a cheeky dead heart if they have one. Okay, maybe we did let them do two gents, but like at what cost? They're, they're so dead already. And mind you, this is not like, oh my god, I've tried I've tried 20 times, Chad, and, and now I get this uh, add-on to give me value kind of moment. Like, this is literally the first game I loaded into today uh, to make this video. It's pretty wild, I think. There's no way they fall for this, though, right? Uh, if they were smart, they would just go right where they came from. Let's see if that's the case. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Oh, she's getting her pumpkin. Uh... Oh wait, she looks very slow. I think she slowed herself down. It was a treat. It was a trick pumpkin. Oh, they went down. Okay. Yeah, this is tough. They they do have a pallet here. Oh, that's I'm surprised that worked because Dredge does have a very loud noise. He emits, but yeah, okay. Um, second hook maybe on this lady. Yeah. Uh, the gen that popped, oh, excuse me, is the, the, that one, that one, uh, that one in the open, huh? Okay. Um, I have one person injured, but here's one thing I can do. Um, why don't I just sit here for a little while? Let's go back. Let's get Nightfall. It's happening fast with two people injured. Um, well, yeah, it did. <laughs> very, very OP ability, as you can tell. Harvey. Oh my god! First try? <laughs> oh, these guys are giving up. <laughs> no. Poor little survivors. Do I at least find hatch for you? No. Okay. <laughs> that was a brutal match. I feel so terrible. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my lord, poor poor fellas. Uh, the iridescent in the end, I think it was more of a gimmick than anything, but hey, uh, everything else about the build worked out more or less alright. Goodness gracious. Uh, to be fair, to be completely fair, it didn't look like they had the best items, um, so... Yeah, I bet, I bet they weren't super prepared. If they had four medkits, which is not that uncommon, uh, this would definitely hurt a lot more. But even then, Franklin's and some other things you can do uh, can can really make medkits still not able to, to heal people too quickly. And then Malthinker Skull, even then Malthinker Skull is amazing for a yellow. So please do use it. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.